You might be wondering, why is it so important to have a 404 page on your website? Well, first of all, imagine if a client lands on your website and they are trying to look for something, but they mistyped the link to the said page. They will be just shown that simple, like this page does not exist. Nobody wants to see that. And since those pages have no links whatsoever, they will not know where to navigate next. Huh? So you will probably lose a sale. You will probably lose a client or a viewer or whatever. So the lesson here is do not overlook 404 pages. They are super important. So, right, let's go and create our own. If you guys don't have Elementor Pro and you want to use the custom CSS function, which is available only in Elementor Pro, you can actually do something that I didn't know you can do, but now I know <laughs> and you will know as well. So the way you can add custom CSS if you don't have Elementor Pro is basically just going into your WordPress dashboard under appearance, navigate to customize and under here you will have an option to add additional CSS. I already have CSS here working. I tested it out, so don't worry. Go ahead, it's gonna work. The code that I gave you is gonna work this way. So you will put the CSS here and the HTML element in the section as you've seen previously. Okay, so this is what we are going to be creating today. The looping banner that you see on the screen, I have created on myself. It's custom made in HTML and CSS. I'll have the code in the description below, just in case you want to use it yourself and let's create this from scratch more or less i will just copy paste the, the code so i don't waste your time and also for the purpose of this video i have already created header and a footer i got this from the library the elementor library but how you can create a 404 page in elementor simple you basically if you are in the elementor editor you just go here in the left corner and select the theme builder this will take you to the theme builder where you can of course you can see i have already created two 404 pages but let's create a new one and the new one is this one go to edit our 404 page and as you can see i already have the footer the header and nothing else so let's add a section and under layout switch this to full width no gaps and a height minimum height switch it to vh and bring it down to about 70 it's looking good so far nothing special let's uh, add a html element to the page drag and drop and i will paste the code that i already have prepared let me just copy paste the code so i don't type the whole thing okay i know it looks a little bit crazy <laughs> but let me add the css and you will see the magic happening. Let's add the CSS right here under advanced, navigate to custom CSS and boom. <laughs> I know, right? Code is fantastic. I freaking love. All right, let's 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 change the color of the, or give some color to the background. Go to style, select your section, go to style. Under background type, just choose the color that you want. I already have a color here. And I will select code and paste it in. And there you go. It, or, it already is looking better. But I want to move this column to the top. So, so what I'm going to do is select the section, go to layout and under column position, change it to top. Boom. Nice. Now we want to add a intersection element to the page. And let's bring this down a little bit. About 150. I think this should work. Let's see. We don't know yet. So let's add a button and that will tell us more. Select the button and under content, change the alignment to right. Now let's change a little bit the style. Go to style change the color and I will also change the padding to 20 and link and right and the left I will change it to 40. I think it looks pretty good so far. Let's change the font. I'm gonna select a font that I like and size of the font should be around around yeah bold and in your face and also change the text so go back home i think it's only fitting right and let's add a icon let's go to icon library and i'm looking for a chevron and insert it 
and change the position of the icon to after and the spacing a little bit out here all right and what i'm gonna do i'm gonna be adding also a search bar so your customers can search your website basically this will actually help a lot with the user retention because they will not have to navigate outside of your 404 page if they land on this they will simply look for what they were initially looking for for example for the shop let's say you don't have the shop here on the navigation bar they will just type in shop and they will be redirected to the shop so let's look for a search form that's how it's called the element drag it in there i want to change the size to match the button i think this might be the right size i don't like the background so i'm gonna go to style and change the color already looking better and the text color lighter but not that much the button as well to match the bar search bar and it's looking really good so far and i like that i just want to change the placeholder to search our website and i think it's looking really good what i don't like is that the, the page has too much space on the bottom so i'm gonna bring this a little bit more down that's good maybe add some margin to this column let's add a 50 margin and maybe change this a little bit to 200 reduce it oh it's looking really good i love that okay let's see how it looks now on tablet and on mobile because these are super important never forget to change this always so as you can see we have a little issue in terms of overflow the looping banner overflows the page on all devices on all screens and we honestly don't want that to happen ever on any page on any website ever so the problem is is in my code my code is missing something i forgot to copy paste something in my previous copy paste so this is what is missing i have it turned off so let's turn it on and watch the the bar here how it switches to not overflow magic right i love code code is amazing so now the code is correct you can copy paste it whatever you want do whatever you want with it and it's working now let's change this section because it got altered let's see i think it looks pretty good on desktop okay K on tablet I would maybe bring this a little bit down 50 a margin top of 50 I think it's okay and mobile on mobile we have to change a few things let's see I think we will change the text here because it's a little bit too big the text on the button let's bring it down to 20 everything else is correct and on mobile let's bring it down to 15 and change the alignment of the button to center and let's see how it looks okay in the section needs uh, some margin below and what i will do is go to main section and change the bottom let's add a 70 pixel padding to the bottom i think it's looking okay i mean you can always change this make it your own but it's important to look okay and i think it does all right Thank you very much for watching and I hope this was helpful and interesting and I will see you guys next time. Bye.